Right, hi guys, Mark in Williams here. After my fishing trip to uh, Diva last week, where here I did catch that personal best rainbow of seventeen and a half pound. Um, it was a rainy day, it was muddy, and my fly lines are absolutely stinking. You know when you you pull your line down, it's landing on the floor, and there's all that water and mud and you can see it on the line you can hear it going through the rod rings i'm going to show you now how i clean my fly lines i'm not a big one for cleaning reels and rods you know i've got my two rods in this long case here that's where they stay they're both a match pair of the original hardy syntrax which i just like to use okay so what we're gonna do We'll get out my floating rod first. So these are all rigged up, look, with a fly on the end. And you can see what the blanks are absolutely stinking. There is mud everywhere. If you could see, sorry guys, if you can see that sort of yellow running line, there is mud all over. All right, so I'm gonna show you First, we'll do the floating line, okay? This is, um, this is, I keep looking down at my phone, guys. Sorry about that, right, okay. So this is, take my fly off. That was that little zero flash dumbbell damsel that worked well. So, wow. I did check the eyes the other day because my good friend Luke had a, a problem with wear and tear um, on a rod that he was using. So I just checked the eyes and mine are all fine. So I pulled anyway, I have the leader off there. Okay. I just get the just wind up that leader. That's gonna go in the bin. My wife's down in back and forth, she's painting the bathroom, okay? I haven't got a permit to do that. <laughs> Excuse. Okay, guys, so there we are. Let's get these reels off. So what I've got here is just one of those disposable, you know, dishcloths, okay? And I've got here, this is just a bowl of clean water guys okay so while we've got the rod with the reel off and the leader off let's just see what how bad the blank is <laughs> i can see how pretty bad it is guys <laughs> wow the bit in between the rings is terrible but like i said i am not one for doing lots of cleaning but that's just one piece the look of the blank corks always gonna be messy and with these hardy syntrax I call that skeleton reel seat I don't know whether there was a slight fault on those because when you do the reel up sometimes when you got the reeling and you do the locking collars up sometimes it's as if it's jumped half a thread and not long after, they just came out with that sort of standard wooden sort of infill there, if you like, like a hardwood thing, but I love these. So there we are. So we've just cleaned the butt section. And that's bogging. Whoop. So I'm having my dinner break, guys. Just doing a bit of a tidying up. Check any eyes, and they're looking pretty good, guys. They're all pretty good. They're so thin on these original. This is the first Hardy uh, Syntrax blank that ever came out. The, uh, the Zenith. Right, okay. So we've done the rod, and you could see already there was a there was a lot of crap on the blank. Okay. I got me bowl of water. So the real, yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be bad, but 
Okay, it's not too bad, the actual reel. Oh, see, I'm not, a, I'm not a big cleaner of stuff, but the fly line. Good, right, okay, so this is my Rio Still Water Elite. So back the drag off, okay, so it's nice and uh, loose, the drag, okay. So this is just that clean, wet rag, okay. I don't want to put any washing up liquid or anything on this floating line, because that might act as a leader sink, which it does. Now I don't want it to cause any thing to float, uh, sorry, any of my floating line to start sinking. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull the line sort of meter at a time. Okay. And you will see all the crap that comes off this line. Just move it a little bit out of that. Sort of wet a patch. So we come into the running line now. Let me just show you so far. Can you see that? Coming off the line. And that's, you know, especially on the wet days when it's muddy underfoot and oh, when it's gravelly and horrible, isn't it? You know, you can use it then like going through your rod rings. So a metre at a time, you know, just a bit of tension, helps straighten the sort of lines out a bit as well. Don't you horror stories about, oh, I stretch my line on length of the garden, it's not good for it guys, you could break the core. Right, okay, there's the backing line, okay? We don't need to go any further. Let's have a look. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. All that mud off the floating line. Gee whiz. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> right, okay. Kitchen towel. This is my favorite one. Blitz. I just use this for uh, when I'm epoxying. So what we'll do now, we're just going to pull it through again, just to just to dry it off a little bit. It's not wet anyway, guys, but because there'll be a bit more crap on it. Say the yellow is the running line, and it's just good to give them a bit of a strength because quite a lot of these distance lines, guys, are. You know, sort of non-stretch, and they can be a bit prone to be coily. You know, I've got about forty years of fly lines. I never had one dead straight, but this is pretty good actually. But uh, does it matter if it's got a little kink in it? No, not at all, does it? Right, there we are on the last three foot of this. There we are. So I pull that through. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Crap again on it. Okay. So right, now the wonder potion now for my floating line, okay? I keep it in a plastic bag like this because anything like this goes, it goes everywhere. When I was in the tackle shop, they used to stand on display like that and they blink and leak everywhere. So this is Airflow Whiz Lube, okay? It cleans and lubricates your fly line easy, even on the water, it's lovely, is it? An all-in-one system, but I don't use it, okay? So what you've got with this, when you open the cap like that, okay? You've got that, like, foam spongy in the lid and thing, and there's like a little slot there and slot there. So you can put the line on there, pull it through. That, that's okay, that's how it's meant to go, but what I like to do, Again, it just gives it a bit of a stretch. Now this is like a clear, okay, clear solution. There we are. There we are. Okay, so I just spread it round a bit in there. Somebody. Right, so I'm on the backing part of the line again, okay? 
there we are so again I'm pulling this through gonna be surprised if there'll be more dirt and grit on have you you pick a little bit up as well because it's going to be sticky so I just move that in position up again okay so this is airflow whiz lube guys okay now there's the yellow changing to green see this is lovely now look see lovely and clean still plenty of whiz lube there So about a metre at a time, got a bit of tension there, look all right. And trust me guys, when you cast your floating line, when you've done this, you will think it's on roller ball bearings. It's great. Right guys, so that's all done now, all right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to get back to the... the real end of the line oh that was what was going to happen a bird's nest wasn't it should have seen me with a multiplier oh terrible right oh hang on guys hang on guys we'll get it now we'll get it we'll get it we'll get it We'll get it. Right, okay. This is feeling lovely in the hand now. Okay. So I've got the reel back out now. All right. I get another clean bit of kitchen towel. Okay. I just get the fly line now, okay, onto the reel. There we are. And then if possible then what I'd like to do is just wind it through. So I've got that cloth sort of trapped between my legs, okay? And because sometimes when you've got all that, you know, say that sticky stuff, you kind of feel it on the line because I only put a tiny bit on there. But when you've got that wisdom, sometimes it you know when you drop on the floor it'll pick up a little bit of bits and pieces and Fly tying material, cat's ears. Yeah. There we are. There we are. Nearly done, guys. I've gone past the sort of marker on it. One perfectly clean floating fly line. Now that's been coated. <coughs> Excuse me in airflow whiz lube i believe it's like a silicon based material it's greasy it's oily so that's why i did ask one of the guys from airflow to double check he said don't really use it on your sinking lines i never have before but i just wanted a double check guys so that's the floating line done okay with the airflow whiz lube it's been cleaned coated cleaned again all right now that next time will cast like a rocket that like Greased up line, it's all clean, it's all lovely. Well, fly through your rod rings, unbelievable. It won't last all day, but it'll fly lovely. So that's one done, that's one done, guys. Now, the intermediate line. Just put that one to there. So again, it's the same combo original the original hardy syntrax nine and a half sevens these are i've got wraiths as well and zephyrs don't really, don't really use them so right we're gonna just get the fly off this one was that this one was that black leech with the that silver strip underneath okay so keep it for you so let me just Back off that drag. Take the leader off. Wind that up a bit better. I always put a new leader on every time I go fishing. 
you don't know if it's scagged or marked or got a knot in it. So, you know, I suppose, what does a leader cost? Not, not a lot, is it? Not a lot. It costs 50p and you've got a brand new leader. Right, okay, look at that. So that was the crap off <laughs> the floating line. So let's wash a bit of that off in the water. Remove that. And then this bowl, okay, with the bubbles, that's got washing up liquid in it, okay? Because that's a natural sort of leader sink. Some of the old, remember some of the old Masterline sort of leader sink products were little bottles of uh, what looked like fairy liquid. So this is the sinking rod. Always worth checking your eyes guys. I remember when I was in the tackle shop and I had someone come in once to buy a new fly line and he was looking for something nice so I said oh have one of these like snowby oh they're crap mm -hmm. have one of these oh they're crap oh they all crap they last me six months I said you got the rod in the car he said yeah when I brought the rod in the car nothing wrong with any of his lines he just had all the a lot of the rings on the rod were grooved through and damaging and damaging his lines all the time so right that one wasn't too bad on the tip so yeah so that's my hardy's heifer so those lovely like skeleton little seats give them a quick blast See, I'm not a big cleaner of rods and bits and pieces, but now I've got to do the reels. Well, I might as well do the rods. And you might see then, you know, you might see a, a problem that you didn't know with it. You might find that dodgy ring. So that was actually pretty good, that rod. I guess I didn't get used as much as the floating line does, does it? So, okay. So give the reel... This is a, another original, the Hardy DD series, which they still do this range of type reels now. The sort of large arbor they've changed. They're probably ultra right now, but they're all the same. They're a nice large arbor reel, so your line is on, your fly line is on large coils. If you imagine you've got a, your fly line, wrap it round your finger 20 times and leave it for a little bit. And you take it off, what's it gonna happen? It's gonna be like a, a watch spring, isn't it? So the bigger that center you can get there, so the line is on bigger the coils, the less chance of it you know, developing memory that easy. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna put this into the washing up liquid solution one again. Okay. Make sure that drags backed off. It is. If a cat runs out, guys, I got a couple of other cats here on the table with me. They're asleep, but you never know. Right, so we've got that resting in that special cat bed. Right, okay, so let's have a look at this window. Let's get a let's get a nice sort of clean part of the rag. So this is a clean cloth now with water and washing up liquid, because this is the intermediate line, guys, okay? Let me just get it round that way. Just check in. Turn that that way, guys, I think. Right, okay. So pulling it through a metre at a time. This one doesn't seem as dirty as the floater. I don't think I used this much at Diva class, and I might have used it on the bottom lake, uh, Willow Lake in the bay, because Paul had a couple of nice browns in there, around five or six pound on that, on that silver leech, that's why I had the silver leech on there. But as soon as he came on for 20 minutes, Paul had two, I went back down. So we're on the running line now, the orange look. And I didn't get, I didn't get one. Quite often with this running line, you get a bit of the, I think the dye come off. Not a problem, is it? 
Right, okay. These the end. Let's have a look here. See? Again, guys. Can you see that, guys? All that crap there off your intermediate line. Okay, so the intermediate line, it doesn't need any of the airflow whiz loop because that's, you know, a floating one. So I'm going to just rinse that out in the, in the clean water. Just put it back into the soapy water. I'm just going to pull it through again before we load it back on the reel. So, so what you've got here, like you put leader sink, okay, on your leader sometimes, this is, you know, putting the natural sink in sort of uh, lotion, if you like, you know, uh, washing up liquid back onto your fly line. Because sometimes, you know, if your hands are greasy and you've got a slow sinking type line, you know, you'll see it hold up in the water and you've got to keep jerking it for it to go down. But it's probably got a bit of grease or something you could off your head or something like that. Or you could have a bit of uh, grease on your hands after, you know, your floating line or something. So this, you know, helps it all nice sink again. This is a fast intermediate. My favourite line in the world. It's a 40 plus, so it's got a short, you know, roughly a 10 metre head. That's all you need out past the rod tip, a bit of the running line. Whoosh, throw it out, perfect for throwing out big lures. Here we are, guys, here we are. See, not so bad that time, all right. Not so bad, so we're gonna get the reel now. Wind that back on. I've got a slightly bigger reel. It's one of the MTX ones when I finished at the shop. They got me that. And it's a little bit bigger than this. So, because these 40 plus lines, you know, they, are, they can be quite chunky lines. So I could do with really swapping over reels and putting this one on the slightly bigger reel the MTX which again is a large armor reel just like this probably a bit prettier but so we're nearly done perfect a little bit of fluff on there so guys I hope you enjoyed that all right so I've cleaned my Airflow 40 plus fast intermediate. We've got all this, you know, all this rubbish and all the all all the, the crap off it in the in the rag. Uh, we cleaned it all off first. Then we've uh, dipped this into a washing up liquid solution, which is like a natural sinking uh, lotion, and cleaned it off again. So that's all ready to go now. That'll cut through the water lovely, and that'll cast great as well. And then the floating Rio, uh, this is the Rio, uh, what is it? Rio Elite still water. And that's been uh, washed just with clean water, all right? And then coated in airflow whiz lube, like a clear silicon type of material, like a runny material. Then we've taken it back off. So that coating that's left on the line is perfect. And guys, that will cast next time. Wow, you think I wish it cast like that all the time, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. I cleaned the rods down as well. I took the leaders off. So there we are, guys. Two different, well, same, uh, same way, but two different solutions. Okay, intermediate or your sinking line floating line guys all right so i'll go back to work now time so i hope you've enjoyed that and let me know uh, what you think guys keep subscribing to the channel and uh, i'll get as much stuff on there as i can guys all right bye bye for now bye bye